Hello everyone and welcome to Streaming Tech Now. So do you have an old smartphone or tablet that's just lying around, perhaps as a paperweight or it's just sitting in one of your drawers collecting dust? Well, it's time to take it out because I have a bunch of ideas that you can use it that you probably didn't even realize and I'm going to show you that coming up next. First up is to use it as a webcam. Now, phones have solid cameras for the better part of a decade. In fact, that it's possible that your old phone hiding in your drawer has a better camera than your current laptop. So there are easy ways to use your old iPhone or Android device as a webcam for your computer. Depending how old your phone or tablet is, you could simply use yours as a dedicated video calling tool. You can install Zoom or Teams for easy access to the most popular video calling apps or use the built-in options like FaceTime or Google Meet. Next are budget or inexpensive dash cams. Now, dash cams are a great way to cover yourself in the event of a car accident, but they're not that cheap. Mounting an old phone to your car's dashboard can offer a free solution to the problem, minus the cost of the mount, of course. Now, you can even download apps that will help your smartphone feel more like a dedicated dash cam, such as Driver, um, and I believe they have that for iOS and Android. Now, these options come with things like cloud storage or support for video recording and potential collision alerts, but those features usually come at a cost. Now, for a totally free option, I'd recommend simply using your phone's built-in video recorder, but you'll need to turn the quality of your video down to account for the storage space. You probably don't need to capture all of your travels in 4K when 1080 or 720 will do just fine. Now, when someone cuts in front of you and claims it was your fault, you'll have video evidence to prove otherwise. Next is a dedicated DJ device, provided it has a headphone jack still. Now, if your phone is on the older side, chances are it might still have a headphone jack, and that makes it an easy choice for a dedicated DJ device. Whether you want to connect to a speaker at a party or you're riding shotgun in your friend's car, you'll have both Bluetooth and aux to work with to play the music. While Spotify won't work with iPhones that can't run at least iOS 13, it does support Android devices all the way back to version. 5.0. Now, if you have an iPhone running iOS 12 or earlier, Apple Music might be your best bet. Now, a tablet isn't quite as portable, but since many of them still have headphone jacks to this day, it can provide the same convenience as an old phone when listening to music at home. So next up is a dedicated Netflix or streaming video machine. Now, tablets are great media streaming devices, and that doesn't necessarily change when they get old. As long as your streaming services still support the device, you can enjoy your favorite shows and movies on your tablet, even after its manufacturer has stopped issuing updates. Even if popular services stop supporting your device in the future, you'll still be able to play previously purchased shows and movies from first-party stores such as iTunes, iOS, iPad OS, and the Play Store on Android. Now, if you have videos from other sources, open-source video players like VLC are a great solution. Next is a smart photo frame. Now, an old tablet or even an old phone can be repurposed to show specific, ever-changing information at all times. Now, maybe you want a dedicated weather machine to know what the forecast looks like throughout the day, or maybe you want a smart calendar. I think the best use case here, however, is a smart photo frame. Instead of purchasing one of these devices outright with their clunky user interface, hit and miss display quality, you can use your old tablet to show off your favorite photos. Now the photos app on your device even if it's old, typically is much better than the software you'll find on a smart photo frame. So next up is a smart home controller that anyone can use. Now, if you own smart home products, you know how fun they can be to play around with. I mean, nearly every appliance in your house that runs on electric has a smart version to it. If you go all in, that's a lot of devices to manage all at once. Now to control all of this smart technology, you could rely on apps on your current smartphone and tablet, but there's one issue without access to your phone or tablet, it's difficult to control the smart devices. If they're connected to a smart speaker, voice controls bridges that gap. However, if you don't have a smart speaker, or you don't feel like speaking every time you want to turn the lights off, an old phone or tablet can be retrofitted to be a dedicated smart home controller. 
Simply place that device out in the open in your home, accessible to anyone who needs to control your smart devices. With a few taps, they can tweak it without needing to use your primary phone. Next, how about a universal remote for your home entertainment setup? Why stop at a smart home? In a similar vein, you can set up your phone or tablet as a universal remote for your TV, streaming devices, game systems, and whatever else you have connected to your home entertainment setup. Leave the device on an end table for easy access so anyone looking to watch TV or play a game can pick up the old phone or tablet and do so. There are tons of options to choose from to turn your device into a universal remote like TV remote for iOS and Android. Now, depending on your devices, there might also be first-party options such as the Roku app or the Apple TV Remote Control Center tile on the iOS and iPad OS. You can even control PlayStation and Xbox. All right, your old car now has CarPlay and Android Auto. So my car doesn't have CarPlay or Android Auto or any sort of multimedia display for that matter. I've got an old car. So I'm a big fan of using a smartphone as a replacement. Now, I use a wireless charging car mount, connect my phone via Bluetooth, use it for GPS, music, and other hands-free communications. Now, the same applies to tablets. However, if you have a tablet that you aren't using at home much, you could use it as a big screen solution. Now, a smaller tablet like an iPad mini might work much better, but as long as the device doesn't block your view of the road or critical controls, etc., you'll be good to go. Next, how about a child-proof digital babysitter? Now, for parents, a spare smartphone or tablet can be the perfect child-safe device. If it isn't brand new, you don't have to obsess about it getting damaged. And at the same time, most smartphones and tablets have had parental controls forever, which means you can set up the device with all the restrictions appropriate for your kids. Now, just as an old phone or tablet can be the perfect media consumption device for you, it can be exactly what you need when your kids are begging to watch their favorite shows or play a game and your newer gadgets are being occupied. And finally, spying on your pets. Now, while your phones and tablets make great webcams and dash cams, they also make for a reliable security camera for your home. Now, you can download an app like Alfred Camera for iOS or Android on both your current phone and your old one to establish a connection between the two. Place your old phone on some type of stand and you'll have 24-7 access to its camera feed. It's a great solution for keeping an eye on your pets or any part of your home for any reason. Now these apps typically will charge extra for features like HD video and saved video recording, but the free tiers typically offer standard quality video access at all times. And similar to the dash cam, you could also just record the room while you're away, then review the tape when you return. Well, there you go. There are a few ways that you can use your old phone or tablet. Let us know in the comments if you have some other suggestions. What do you use your old phone or tablet for? Thanks so much for joining us today, and we'll see you next time on Stream and Tech Now.